everybody, welcome back to the Mana Vault. Today we're going to be opening up a box of set boosters from Modern Horizons 2. We'll go ahead and jump right into this. Everybody wants to get the fetch lands out of this. There's a lot of brand new cards. New to Modern, new to Commander, new to all the new sets. And formats, as well as some delightful reprints. If you haven't already at this time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to us if you aren't already subscribed. Those of you that are subscribed, thank you very much. If you like this video, be sure to let us know by hitting that like button and let us know in the comments what you hope to open slash what you want to buy as singles from this set. We'll jump right into things. We've got our art card, foil. Not always a foil land, but we got a foil here. Some commons, as of note, is that this was in the Mystical Archives as a rare, but now it's a common. Various uncommons. Right out of the back, we get a Cauldra Complete in the sketch frame as a mythic. Pretty good first pack there. We'll put that off to the side over here with our mythics. We got Rise and Shine as a rare. Fire Ice, actually I didn't even realize that this got moved all the way up to rare for the reprint slot, but we do get a Fire Ice. We get Step Through as our old border common. We get a Foil Gouged Zealot and nothing. That last slot has a 25% chance to be from the list. That's what you're hoping to get. Other than that, it's not really anything. Got a land, Phantasmal Dreadmaw, great card. Some uncommons. We get a rare with Academy Manufacturer. Enchantress's Presence finally making its way into Modern. Any of these cards that you see the uh, watermark on are new to Modern. So it's exciting to see that, nice little rare there. Ornithopter of Paradise, pretty funny card. We combine Ornithopter with Birds of Paradise to make a combination of the two is our old border. A foil, hard evidence, and there we go. We do get a card from the list. We get Groundbreaker from Planar Chaos. Basically just a color shifted version of Ball Lightning. So pretty cool there. So we've got our first list card of the box. No fetch lands yet. Hopefully we'll get a few lands. Nice to see these little artifact lands here, the dual lands. The card everybody was talking about, we got Garth One-Eye as a mythic here. Mainly because it says at the bottom here you can make a black lotus. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> so I'll throw that in our mythic pile. Greed is a reprint. Ethersworn uh, Sphinx is our sketch card. We get a foil Milliken, and what is the list? Nobody knows. I guarantee there's probably like less than 10 people on the planet right now that could tell me every single card that's part of the list. We got a little mountain, some starfish action, more commons, batter bone, uncommons, and one of the big mythics. Man, we're just pulling mythic after mythic here. We got solitude. Uh, maybe a little bit less known, but probably still pretty well known, is its counterpart Grief, the black one. But this is Swords to Plowshare when it enters, and instead of paying 5 mana, you can simply exile a white card from your hand. Scourge Familiar is our old border, or our old card reprint there. We also get Phantasmal Dreadmaw in the sketch here. Great card, it's basically just Colossal Dreadmaw. Right here, using the original art of Colossal Dreadmaw as inspiration. There we go. Sanctifier in Vec is a foil rare. Nice little card, kind of competes with uh, that other card that I can't remember the name of in Modern. Maybe it'll come to me at some point. Also two white, protection from black and red. Oriok Champion might be the name of that card. Who knows? Maybe I got some help from somebody on the side. You'll never know. Some uncommons here. We get Nettle Cyst <laughs> as a rare. I put this rare in the Mythic in the rare pile, we'll put that rare in the rare pile. Mog Salvage, Nested Shambler, we get a Foil, Fey Offering, and our list card in this pack is King Pins Pat from good old Gate Crash. Not every card from the list is exciting. A lot of them are duds, but you can get some pretty cool stuff there. Keep going through these commons and uncommons. Prismatic Endings, actually a pretty good uncommon there. Might see some modern play. Blood Raid Marauder is our rare. 
Flame Rift, nice little reprint from Nemesis. Deal four damage to each player for two mana. Might see some play and burn. We get a Marble Gargoyle as our old border card. A Foil Hell Mongrel. And we're totally lost. Fibbletip has no idea what's going on. I guess we're probably totally lost because we haven't found those fetch lands yet to help us get where we're going. There we go. Oh, it's together. Perfect. We got Asmaran, Amar, Dicadast, and Akuldakar combined with the Underworld Cookbook in the same pack. So we can play this to go get this. Beautiful. Yavi Maya Elder. Late to dinner. A Breathless Knight is our foil. And some random ad card. Hopefully some of you are impressed with my pronunciation of Asmaran, Amar, Dicadast, and Akuldakar. I practiced it for a while just for you guys. Our rare here, we have Verdant Command. I was really thinking that this was going to be part of a cycle, but this is the only command in the set. <laughs> Patchwork Gnomes. We get a sketch version of Arcbound Shakiri, Shikari, and a Foil Lens Flare. And Friday Night Magic, coming back any day now. I guess it's already back. Art card, little Foil Planes action, a couple commons, a lot of uncommons. Rare and out of time. Three mana board wipe temporarily. Sea Drake. Nice little reprint from Portal. Another old border marble gar gargoyle. Well, that looks really nice. Might not be that great of a card, but we get an old border foil blacksmith skill. Looks really nice with that old border foil. And more ads. That... Uh, that Old Border Foil honestly looks a lot like a artifact, but that thing is mono white, surprisingly. Some uncommons here, Dragon's uh, Rage Channeler, the new Delver of Secrets, been causing a lot of issues in Legacy already. Chef's Kiss, nice little rare. Gaia's Will, green doing everything black can't. I'm sure you've heard it all before. Uh, Mistress Factory, nice little reprint there in the modern. Aeromobia. Little foil, phantasmal dreadmaw, and secret layer coming at you. Still no fetch lands. We'll get one, I promise. I know it's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Arid Mesa is our first fetch land of the box. Right when we're complaining about no fetch lands, one hits us right out, right, right like that. We'll go ahead and put this in a little different place. We'll put our fetch lands down here. That way we can keep a better eye on them. Right after the fetch land, we do get another mythic and Merc Tide Regent. Seeing a little bit of play in that uh, Legacy Delver deck as well. Uh, behind that, Solitary Confinement, also from a Legacy deck, the Enchantress deck. Coming to Modern now. Nice little Sudden Edict in our uh, sketch frame. Right behind that, we get a Foil Titania, Protector of Argoth. Nice little new to modern card. Great commander card. We'll see if it sees uh, any play in modern here. Great card nonetheless. Maybe maybe that deserves to be in the mythic slot too, instead of the foil slot. Who knows? We're going all over the place here. Great little pack. Two mythics. A fetch land. A nice rare in solitary confinement. We're doing great here. Got our commons. Some uncommons. New little enchantress. Two mana. Carrion Ranger, nice little elf from uh, Legacy, making its way to modern here. We get a Mind Collapse as our old border card. A Foil Unholy Heat. And what is the list? Nobody knows. Like I said, nobody knows what the list really even is. More commons. Some uncommons. Uh, one uncommon, followed by an old border persist. Great little rare there. Brand new card. Right behind that, another another great card. We get Verdant Catacombs. So now we got two fetches. We were at one, now we're at two, just like that. We get another uh, uncommon old border galvanic relay. Uh, nice little foil funnel web recluse. And our list card is Venerated Teacher from Rise of the Eldrazi.
Scurry Oak, part of that new infinite combo. Necrogoyf kind of calling back to Mortivor, the old uh, Lurgoyf, but sometimes costs less mana. Wonder, nice little old border, or uh, new to modern reprint there with our rare. A little sketch Floodhound, a foil parcel mirror, and still wondering what the list is. Foil Mountain, various commons and uncommons, followed by our rare with Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp, Chainer Nightmare Adept, Old Border Bone Shards, a foil Marble Gargoyle, and more advertisement. Got our commons. A few uncommons. Uh, one of the more expensive rares, I believe, from the set, Dothy Voidwalker, kind of combines uh, Leyline of the Void with uh, the ability to recur that stuff. Pretty nice little card. Yavi Maya Elder. Good old uh, Chub Toad making his uh, triumphant uh, turn into modern. We actually get two Chub Toads. We get we get a sketch and a foil. Just how I like it. And our list card is Bloodied Ghost. Some commons, uncommons. We got Glimpse of Tomorrow as our rare. Rashad and Doc Hand as another rare. We got a Mythic with Marari's Wake. Old Border, Arrow Amoeba. A Foil Discerning Taste, and we're totally lost again. Three rares, and a, or two rares and a Mythic out of that pack. Can't complain there. Pretty good cards. Actually, this one is uh, one of the signature ones. So we did get one of the signature art cards. Kind of hard to see there, but it is in that corner there. Some commons. A couple uncommons. We got Search the Premises as a rare. Suspend as a rare. Reprint of Greed. Old Border Goblin. Uh, Anarchomancer. I haven't actually read that card before. Foil Recalibrate. And Secret Lair. Commons, calling back to Brainstorm with the Brainstone. We got a Thought Monitor. Is our rare. A Sea Drake. Chatterstorm is our uh, old border storm card there. We got a Foil Prophetic Titan. Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> we get Aether Vial out of the list. This card's been going up to like $60 recently. Hitting a $60 list card, that's what you want to be. That's back when it was an uncommon when they had no idea what they were doing in Magic. Not like they have any idea now, but they had less idea back then, I think. Got the nice little Squirrel Lord. Oh yeah, there we go, back to back. Great packs, we got Scalding Tarn, the number one fetch. Everybody's always been looking for this one. So we're up to three fetch lands from this box. We get the Scalding Tarn. Right behind that, we hit another Mythic, and Archon of Cruelty, the number one new reanimation non-legendary target from the set. A Quirion Ranger behind that. Faithless Salvaging is our sketch card. A Foil Silver uh, Bluff Bridge and Friday Night Magic. I will go to Friday Night Magic every time if I can open that pack when I go. Sanctum Weaver is our rare. Extruder is an old reprint there. A lens flare for our sketch card. A foil artifact land again, and still wondering what the list is. We figured out the list pretty well with that Aether Vial. We know that that's what you want to get. Another little sketch card that has the signature on it. This is the Gaia's Will, and it says Lucas right on there. Nice to see on the bottom left corner there. One uncommon, followed by Alonis, Cryptozoologist, as our rare. A hunting pack, Kitchen Imp in the sketch version, a foil Archfiend of Sorrows, and we get a list card as Fool's Tome. Uh, this card doesn't seem that great. Seems like you're a fool if you play it.
Oh, there's the there's the rare that everybody's playing in every deck they play ever in any format. We got Urza Saga. It's a saga. It's a land. It's Urza Saga. Not the set. Right behind it, we get Sword of Hearth and Home. Another great mythic. This pack's pretty good. I don't think we're going to be able to get much better than that out of this pack, right? We get Soul Snare, a Liquid Metal Torque, and behind that, we do get a little bit better. I didn't think we were going to get much better, but we get an old border, Shardless Agent, and Foil. Welcome to Modern Shardless Agent. Good to see an old border of you, and nice to see you in Foil there. We have had some great packs here. I know prices are going to drop quite a bit from where we see them uh, during this pre-release time, but at, I think that this box has to be profitable for anybody, no matter when they open it. We got Void Mirror as our rare, followed by a Gorilla Shaman. The Underworld Cookbook as our old border card. A Foil Scophos Reaver. And How to Play Foraging Squirrels. Get the Sphinx, only uncommon in that pack. Calibrated Blast is our rare, followed by a Karmic Guide. And a Mystic Redaction as our sketch card. And this card does look nice. I love these old border foils so much. We got Tide Shaper, the new Merfolk, probably gonna see some play here in Modern. Maybe Merfolk won't be a tier seven deck anymore. Followed by uh, Mistress Manufacturer or something for the mini game there. Sorry to all you fish lovers if I offended you by calling your deck tier 7. Somebody's got to tell you the truth, though. Anyway, we got <laughs> Ravaging Visionary as an uncommon, followed by an old border out of time as our rare. A Braid's Cabal Minion as another rare there. A sketch card version of Gargadon. A Foil Burden Aerialist. And still wondering what the list is. One day we'll figure it out. Got the new coin flip card with Usury. We got a counter spell. Welcome to Modern. Old Border Goblin. Foil Sojourner's Companion. And Secret Lair. Looks like we got about three packs left. Will we be able to get up to four fetch lands? Guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out. I'm hoping that we do. You never know what'll happen. We got the Territorial Kavu. Nice little new card there. Is our rare. A Milliken. Old Border Blacksmith Skill. Get a nice little foil rare here in Sterling Grove. Nice to see this card in foil here. And still totally lost. Last time we were totally lost, we managed to get some fetch lands. So let's see if we can do it again. We get Esper Sentinel as our rare. Pretty good card there. Curse Totem was... I think around $30 prior to this reprint here. We get a World Weary. That card looks pretty creepy with the sketch version. Followed by a Foil Crack Open. And Friday Night Magic. And our last pack of this set booster box. What will we find? We found a lot of good cards. Not going to be too disappointed if this pack isn't the best. Since there's been so many fetch lands, so many mythics. Can't complain. We get a Persist. Pretty decent little card there. A Mog Salvage, Abundant Harvest in its sketch version, a Foil Scurry Oak, and Chemister's Insight from the list to finish things off. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you next time at the Mana Vault.